Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate that daily 9 a.m. upload. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, what we're going to talk about is Russell Westbrook in his prime. I know he's been getting thrashed um, through the media, and he's been a running joke right now as well. Um as far as how he's been performing with my Lakers. And trust me, I'm right there with it. I mean, they're calling him Russell Westbrook and then and they're like that, like I said, it's bad. We all know it wasn't a good matchup. I knew it wasn't a good pairing right when he got picked up as a free agent. I do not know why he was selected. They should have went with the Kings trade, but that's a whole different story. I don't want to get into that, but they should have done a trade with the Kings and um, not get Russell Westbrook. But if we was talking about prime Russell Westbrook, that's different. But what we're going to do today is talk about that. We're going to talk about Russell Westbrook in his prime, right? How to make this Russell Westbrook right here. The one that played with the Oklahoma um, City Thunder, the 95 on the 95, <laughs> the 95 overall two-way threat. Um, and again, 6'3", 200 pounds. What you're going to see here um, about Russell Westbrook is that he was an extraordinary finisher at the basket. 98 driving layup, 90 driving dunk. Only a 76 close shot, so keep that in mind. But he had an 84 mid-range shot and a 79 three ball, which again, even at that stake, I don't even know if it was that great of a um, out there in the perimeter, but we're still going, we'll take it for a grain of salt. We'll let it go with that. Um, and then of course, we're not really worried about the post stuff, even though he did have a 73 post control, 76 post fade, but that's nothing really um, relevant. And then you look at the pass accuracy, the pass accuracy 85, he has a 95 ball handle. And of course, that ridiculous 98 speed with ball. Um, again, he was one of the, and, and like I said, he was one of the fastest players um, coast to coast. Um, him and John Wall at that time in their prime were just ridiculously fast to the basket from one side to the other. Um, and then defensively, there's not really much here. He does have an 83 perimeter defense, um, a 71 still, but the big one here is going to be that defensive rebound. We all know he was a walking triple double. So we got to show respect to that. And then when you look at the badges, again, it's going to be heavy on the finishing. So you got the Acrobat, Fast Twitch, Fearless spin, um, Finisher, Giant Slayer, Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer, like that Posterizer on Go, by the way, Pro Touch, Unstrippable. I mean, the list goes on and on. On the shooting, again, it's not going to be much. He does have Green Machine and Lucky 7. Again, this is for people that are very streaky, and that's what he was. He was a streaky shooter. Playmaking, you're gonna have the bell out, the bullet passer, dimer. Downhill, I would have thought would have been on Hall of Fame, but it's not. But um, downhill, hyperdrive, again, I thought that may have been Hall of Fame. If you have 95, 98 speed, you would think you would have that. But um, and then, of course, defensively, the big ones here is that's again, he has Hustler. And, that, and again, no one's ever, ever, ever gonna question whether or not Russell Westbrook's leaving out on the floor. He does. And that's what you got to love about him. All right. And he has a, surprisingly a lot of badges here, right? They're not necessarily badges that's like defensive stoppers, but just everything else that comes around with that, all right? As you see right here. And again, you thought rebound chaser would have been a little bit higher, but it's on silver. That's still ridiculous for a point guard. I don't think there's even many point guards that even have that, okay? So anyway, this should be pretty fun. Let's head over to the My Player Builder and let's make the one and only prime Russell Westbrook. All right, my nephews and nieces, so let's just look right into it. Um, obviously, Russell Westbrook, he was a point guard, so we're going point. Um, he was right-handed, and he's number zero. He's still number zero to this day. The pie chart that we're going to go with is going to be with the Hall of Fame finishing and the Hall of Fame playmaking. So there was other, other pie charts that I considered. I did consider the Hall of Fame um, defense and the Hall of Fame shooting. I just felt like the defense was too high, and then the finishing was too low. Okay, so again, he only had an 83 perimeter defense. I'd rather go that route. He didn't have no 90-something steal, that type of deal. 
pure playmaking. I felt like that could have been another good option, but again, you take away the contact dunks. So I felt like the best pie chart is going to be the Hall of Fame playmaking and the Hall of Fame finishing. So we go there. And then what we're going to do is go with the Hall of Fame speed. I mean, well, Hall of Fame speed. We're just going to go speed <laughs> and vert, okay? So, again, I feel like this is going to be the best one here. Obviously, he had a really good vert. Um, it's helping with his rebounding also. So, this is the one I want to go with. And then, how we're going to break it down is here. He had a 78 close shot, but we're going to go to 80. And then, we're going to max out the driving layup and that driving dunk for 16 finishing, okay? Then, we're going to max out the mid-range, the three-point shot, and that free throw. That's going to give us nine shooting badges. Then, we're on our playmaking, we're max that out and our ball handling. Um, that give us 22. Then on the defense, we're max out the perimeter, the ladder quickness, the steals, the offensive and defensive rebounding. Because this is very important because obviously, you know, Russell Westbrook is a, one of the best rebounding guards. Actually, he probably is the best rebounding guard of all time. Um, so you want to make sure you have these two taken care of. And then when you look at the stack, it's 16, 9, 22, and 8. That's actually pretty solid. All right, really, really, really solid here. You can't ask for a better stack than that um, when you're talking about a Russell Westbrook build, a prime Russell Westbrook build. Then when you come here, you want to go built. Um, you want to go 6'3". He's 200 pounds, but what I want to do is get all the way down to 173. And the reason being is because I just want to have that 99 speed and 99 acceleration. So that's the reason why we want to go there. And then here, what you want to do, um, just to be able to get a higher defensive rebound, better perimeter defense and those contact dunks max the wingspan all the way out so um you could go all the way down to um 82.2 if you wanted to and that's going to allow you to have that 73 ball if you want to go that route he did have a 73 three ball so i guess you can go 82.2 you'll still get the um driving the the driving dunk contact dunks um off rip all right but if you max it all the way out, you do drop down to a 79. But look at your steals, your defensive and offensive rebound, your perimeter defense. All that goes up. And to me, I feel like that'd be the best bet. But you also get a plus 8 to your physicals. You get a plus 4 from 95 to 99 overall. And then you get the other plus 4 by getting the gym rat badge, which you can get by either going through my career or the Gatorade facility, or you can do the workouts at the Gatorade facility. But regardless, with that 8, you have a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and a ridiculous 96 vert. So, again, really strong there on the physicals. Then we look at finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash rebound. Um, you will get the 86 close shot, excuse me, a 99 driving layup. You get an 89 driving dunk. You get a 76 mid-range and a 69 three ball. But the strength of this build is going to be within the finishing and the playmaking. The 90 pass accuracy with the 93 ball handle. Um, you'll be able to get all the elite dribble packages. Um, even the elite signature size-ups that comes every um, season. You'll be able to get that. And then defensively, you're going to be strong. All right, Way more stronger than what Rus Russell Westbrook was. Because you have an 82 perimeter defense, which is right on par. 79 line of quickness. But look at your steal. You're getting 87 steal, a 64 offensive rebound, and a 72 defensive. Obviously, we're not able to get a 90, which is unheard of to think of of a 6-3 guard to have a 90 defensive rebound. But we're still going to be really strong and solid within every category, especially if you look at the shooting. We have nine. We can talk about what badges we can utilize there. And then what we're going to do here, again, we talk about Russell Westbrook. You probably going to want to go between these two here. He was a two-way threat, so you could go, you can get the lockdown here, and that could really help out. But then what I'm going to do is, of course, go with Slasher. And then here you have my nephews and nieces. You're going to have a two-way slashing playmaker. So instead of a two-way threat, it's a two-way slashing playmaker, which I think is right on par of what Russell Westbrook was. You're going to have a very solid build here. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to test this build out real quick. We're going to get to 99, and of course, we'll then get you out of here, okay? So let's get 99 here. Boom. Now, what I'm going to do for badges, I'm going to do what's actually translating part. So we're not going to try to get what he had. We're going to do what translates in part. These two badges here, post rise and limitless, limitless takeoff, are just so important. You want to do that. Fearless finisher, um, acrobat are really, really good ones here. And then, of course, slithery finisher and then unstrippable. So then now what I would probably do is go something like this, okay? Um, yeah, I will go like this, and I'll feel very solid with everything. I think this will be perfect, okay? And then when it comes to the shooting, you want to get sniper, stop and pop. These are very important. Then I will get... Um, lucky seven or you can go just straight blinders um go on that route or you can go hot zone hunter if you got the hot zones at the top of the key 
But in my, I think that this, when it comes to nine, blinders, sniper, stop and pop will be the ones you want to go with, okay? And then for your playmaking, everything here is pretty much the same that you want to go with. Boom, 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 boom. These are most important. Hyperdrive, bronze, get unpluckable on gold. Bell out. And then I, can, I like to go with the tight handles um, because I just feel like that's just the best bet. And then you can get that bullet passer on bronze or you can try to get a little bit higher up if you wanted to. And go here or you can get quick chain i think go tight handles like i said tight handles is so overpowered um you so you can probably go something like this if you want to get that bullet passer and then defensively with just the eight badges from my experience the best way to go if especially if you're going to be on ball you want to get the pick dodger that's important you want to get the clamps chase down you do not have rim protector on this and then but you can get rebound chaser so this is what i would go with even with russell westbrook this would be great because on ball you can pick dodge you can have the clamps i think this is solid okay so anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the prime russell westbrook build hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say I'll be back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.